Right. Uh, the flow rate of the LM solution. What do they mean by that? The flow rate of the LM solution. Okay, perhaps if you look at these pictures, okay, this is what they mean. The flow rate of the LM solution. The flow rate in the perforated part. So what is the flow rate? Okay. So you have the flow rate of the water and you also have the flow rate of the LM solution. Okay, these are the flow rate that they are asking you to measure. Is that clear? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Right. So that flow rate that we need to know. So how do we do that? Okay, if I can uh, stop sharing this slide because I want to show something in, at my whiteboard. Okay, so these are uh, the diagrams. So this is the water from aeration. Okay, the flow rate. I put it as QW, and that is 43,200 meter cube per day. Okay, the flow rate. And then it's something that you like to know. The flow rate for LM. Something that you like to know. Is that clear, people? Yes. Okay, great. And then you have Q water, and QA is QLM, and this one I label as QT, Q total. Right. There's another parameter that you need to know. Okay. So this is the sea water. Sea water means uh, the amount of alum in the water at the early stage. Is there any alum being put inside here before entering the coagulation process? This coagulation. No. 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 Okay. No. That means the concentration of alum at sea water is zero. And this one is CLM. Do you know what is the concentration of CLM? The initial one, before you put it in the water, in the beaker. What was the concentration? 35. 35 is not correct. Can you like, would like to try it again? 30. 30 also is not correct, people. 50 milligram. 50 milligram is a good attempt, but it's not correct. But it's actually, okay, let me give this simple answer, okay? You remember you have a bigger, one liter bigger, a one liter bigger, and inside that is one gram. So that is the concentration of the solution. One gram per liter. You are just starting to put inside the, uh, into the coagulation tank. Can you see what I mean? Okay? Yes. This one gram per liter, it's just a solution. That is the concentration of it. So the concentration for total, this is the optimum dosage. Dosage, I hope that you can see it. And that is 25 milligram per liters. Okay, can I proceed? Yes. yes. Okay, right. So this is basically a nice diagram. So you, you put the mass balance, okay. Basically, Q water and C water plus Q alum and C alum is equal to Q water plus Q alum. And then the optimum dosage is 25. So they are basically, they would like to find out the Q alum or QA. Okay. So just by doing this, uh, but just by solving this equation, eventually you will get Q alum to be. 1,108 meter cube per day. Okay, remember, the concentration here is actually zero, and that's why whatever stands with the flow rate of the water will be zero. So this is something that you would like to find out. And CA is actually one gram per liter. They change it to 1,000 milligram per liter. Just solving this equation. Okay, Q water plus Q. Q total is basically Q water plus Q alum. So solving this, you will get this answer. Okay, so do you have any questions? Dr. YCW is zero. Okay, you have to remember, okay, this is the water from aeration process. This is the coagulant. This is where you have a perforated pipe adding the alum. So initially, there is no alum being added, right? That's why the concentration of alum at this part is zero. I hope that I'm answering your question. Mm. Anyone else? Okay, if you guys do not have any other questions, uh, I apologize for any shortcomings. Uh, all the best and stay safe. Okay, right there.